Hi, this video is to show you how to solve problem 5, single period problem. And um, But we instead of giving you the average demand and the standard deviation, I'm giving you the ta a table with the demand and probabilities. And we're going to use that to find the, uh, the average demand and the standard deviation to be able to answer this question which is we have a retail store, we, saw, we sell shows for $110 and it costs 70 for us to, to, to produce or, or buy these shoes, each pair of shoes. And if we cannot sell for 110, we have to make like a sale, sales and then sell it for 50. So what's the optimal number of shoes we have to, to purchase, to buy and if this, the retail store decide to purchase 400 shoes, so what would be the expected profit? So I'm going to use an Excel file again. Let me start a new one. Okay, I had those, that one ready. It is right here. Okay, so I have price cost. I have all this piece of information that you know from other problems. And um, so I'm going to start to filling out some information here the price for each pair of shoes is 110 my cost my cost is my cost is um 70 so let me go back 70 if i cannot sell for 110 i have to sell for 50 so my cost of underestimate is how much profit i'm losing so it's my price minus my cost so um, customers come to my store, they try to purchase, I don't have it, so I'm losing $40 as my profit. My cost of overestimate, the demand, is my cost minus my salvage value. So this is how much I'm uh, incurring losses, right? Uh, and then what I do is I divide my cost of underestimate by the sum of those two costs. So that gives me my service level of 60.6667. So that's how much my service level is. I turn that number into a z score norm equal norm dot s inverse. So that's the z value associated with the service level. Now, what I have to do is to answer this problem, I need the average and I need the standard deviation. So, how can I find the average? I have to create a column expected. So this expected is my each demand multiplied by its probability. So I, I do that for each one of these rows. I can also copy and drag the formula. And then I can compute the mean. Oops. The mean. The mean in this case is going to be the sum of this uh, expected demand. This is so. This is my average. Now I'm going to create a column called demand squared multiplied by my probability. This is help is going to help us to to find the standard deviation. So in this case, I have equal this demand and then this uh i don't know what the sign is but this is squaring is demand squared multiplied by the probability okay and then i simply copy this formula to all others and i do a sum again and then i'm going to use this to get the variance so the variance is equal to um my variance here is going to be equal to um, equal to G7. Let me see here. It's going to be equal to this um, this summation minus this one uh, squared. Okay. So this is the way to find my variance using the table with the expected demand and uh, this um, variability here, okay? 
so that's my variance and then from the variance I can get the standard deviation which is equal to the SQRT square root of this variance okay so this is my standard deviation now I can answer the answer and sir is uh, equal so how how many I should order is my average plus my z value multiplied by my standard deviation so I should order 363 pairs of shoes okay so that's answer this question what's the optimal number of shoes in this retail store should buy 363.22 shoes or pairs of shoes in the if the retail store decide to buy 400 what would be the expected profit so if buys 400 let's do it here so in this case we cannot uh, match this this uh 500 demand so what we are going to do is we're going to copy this and paste here and then we're going to compute a leftover for each one of these um for each one of these uh lines so if i decide to to purchase 400 it's going to be 400 what i decide to purchase minus minus you see here okay so my leftover here is 400 minus this 200 that i have in demand and the same thing here my 400 that i decide to purchase minus what i have in demand and this one is going to be zero because it's 400 minus what decide uh, whatever i decide to have in demand okay so how much my profit would be so my profit here will be equal to um, 200 uh, 200 pairs of shoes that I sell multiplied by my profit which is CU okay so that's my profit the same thing here I have a demand of, of 300 and I multiply by my profit the same thing here multiply by my profit and then I have my losses okay so what I have as losses is 200 pairs of shoes left over because I I purchased 400 and only have 200 as demand and then multiply by my loss here which is uh, the CO okay so it's 4,000 in this case 100 multiplied by CO in this case is going to be zero okay and my total in this case will be equal to uh, the difference in my profit and losses so it's going to be equal my profit minus my losses equal to my profit minus my losses equal to my profit minus my losses so my expected profit is going to be equal to um, my total multiplied by the probability of having this demand my total multiplied by the probability of having this demand my total multiplied by probability of having this demand so then I sum everything total my expected my expected profit if I order 400 shoes is ten thousand and four hundred dollars okay that's how you answer this this problem so let me put here how what would be the expected profit let me ten thousand and four hundred ten thousand and four hundred that's all